Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I hope you had a nice day, a great day, a hot day, and it was terrific out here. But I want to say something. Some of you know that I, I have a, a, a thing about calling people on their birthday. Now, years ago, before computers, believe it or not, there was a time before computers, I was on location, and it was Vittorio's birthday, and I wanted to call him. I knew he was in Italy, but I did not have his phone number with me. So I called the AT&T international operator, and I said, I want to find the phone number of a man named Vittorio Storaro. I spelled it for her, and I said, this is, this is how you pronounce it. Please call the Italian operator in Rome. She called the Italian operator in Rome, and I was listening. And I heard her say, we're looking for a man in a village named Fratucci, and uh, his name is Viterio Storaro. And the operator in Italy said, are you talking about Vittorio Storaro? He is a national treasure. How dare you not know how to pronounce his name? And I want to introduce Richard Crudo to give the award to my dear friend, Richard, uh, uh, Vittorio, <laughs> Vittorio Storaro. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Um, we're here tonight to honor not just a great cinematographer, but one of our great cinematic artists. You all know his credits. His films are legendary. They're touchstones for all of us. I had the great good fortune to first meet Vittorio in 1986 as a very young assistant cameraman on the New York leg of a film called Ishtar. And I can tell you by personal experience, this man is truly magic. And it is my great, great honor to introduce to the crowd Vittorio Storaro, ASC, AIC. And please come up and take your award. Vittorio, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very much. Well, this is my 35th uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> Since the first one they have from Camera Image in 1983, uh, I said something because usually having a, a Lifetime Achievement Award, people thinking that maybe it's the end of your career. Uh, I don't see the, this prize in, in, in this way because I feel that usually is given to somebody that left a mark, an imprint behind him. A mark that young cinematographer can follow because they, they practically learn those kind of paths uh, as some kind of a specific uh, uh, signature, some kind of style that is very personal. But uh, I, um, I was very lucky that uh, since my father pushed me to study cinematography, since the teacher that I had uh, in the different schools, since the, all the collaborators that worked with me, and the director, they really teach me how to use the language of images, uh, that uh, practically took me on this kind of path. On, uh, I know that cinematography, like uh, uh, any kind of art, uh, that is uh, very, very, very personal, that we are able to understand who we are according how you es we express in ourselves. It's very personal what we do, so really, but without uh, a story and uh, without the director, we do not exist. So I have to thank uh, everybody that uh, one way to another really helped me to arrive on this little beautiful stage. Thank you very much.